Hello guys, welcome to Hungary. But today I'm going to be talking about Egypt, specifically a dark side of Egypt or a bad side. But I think it's important to share this for a few reasons. Number one, for travelers going there, they need to be aware of what I'm about to talk about because if they go without knowing this, bad things might happen to them and then they might get a really bad view on Egypt, which isn't good for anyone. It's not good for the tourism, it's not good for the Egyptians, and it's not good for the tourists. And if you think that I'm representing Egypt in a bad way and you haven't seen my other videos, I recommend going back and looking at my Egypt videos because I've made, I don't know, probably like almost 30 to 40 videos on Egypt altogether. 99% of them are all positive and they all kind of reinforce the idea that you should go to Egypt and enjoy what it has to offer because it is truly an amazing country and I don't need to go into that because I've said it enough. I'm going to get on with the video now. So the subject is hustling and scamming. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm you can ignore it if you don't want to believe it's true, but I can guarantee you it is very true. I've traveled to over 50 countries. Well, aren't you special? I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to kind of share with you my experience. Egypt is by far the worst place in terms of scams and hustlings that I have come across. I'm not saying that there aren't worse countries out there because there's like almost 200 countries. So there's probably worse countries. Out of my experience, Egypt has the worst problem with scams. And I know what this is down to, I think. I think it's down to since the revolution in 2011 when the tourism completely dropped. People need to put food on their tables. They need to feed their families, you know. That's really sad and that's the cause of the scams and so I can kind of understand it but at the same time you're ripping someone else off and so I can't really understand it <laughs> but I mean I'm sure if I was in that kind of situation where I needed to put where I needed to feed my children then who knows I mean I can't comment on that because I'm not in this situation so maybe I would do the same thing the point of this video is not to bash the scammers it is to just make travelers aware of what's going on in Egypt with the scams because if you just turn up to Egypt straight off the plane with no idea you're gonna end up losing money and time as well so I'll give you a few examples of what has happened to us myself and a few friends while we have traveled in Egypt and also in the comments section I've seen many comments saying the same thing happened to us blah 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 and some people got way more scammed than us we we didn't really get scammed to be honest because we were kind of aware of it some people have been scammed to drive around Cairo for one day for like $300 and you know that might sound kind of reasonable if you're from an expensive country if they're taking you to the stops and waiting for you and stuff but in Egypt 300 US dollars is a lot of money some examples of us when you're in the streets of Egypt especially Cairo but it happens all over the country but Cairo is the worst especially the center of Cairo we'd be walking around and people would come up to us they'd start off with something that they can kind of have some common ground with you right so for example I'm from New Zealand they'd be like oh you're from New Zealand Kiwi Oh, I'm beached, bro. You know, and they'll start this small talk and they'll they'll kind of relate to you in some way to kind of get that emotional connection with you. From there, they'll kind of build this kind of story around it. And these people are geniuses. There's no way you can outsmart these people unless you exactly know what's going on. And you have to just, from the start, just say no. Obviously, like, you want to be open because you want to meet new people and things, but you will get a feel for what kind of people have genuine interest in you and what kind of people have one thing in mind. This better have my money. From there, they'll say, you know, I'm a student, I'm trying to learn English, I just want to talk to you, or I'm an artist, and so on and so forth, you know, these little stories. And then they'll somehow lead you into some kind of a shop, and they'll be like, it's my brother's shop, or so on and so forth. I mean, it's quite common all over the countries that are really saturated by tourists. I'm sure you, a lot of you know what I'm talking about, but in Egypt, it's like on steroids. And I'm just coming out to say that because you gotta be aware, otherwise you'll go into Egypt and you'll come out of Egypt being like, I hate that place. If you're aware of it, and you know how to deal with it then you're gonna have a much better time so this isn't bashing Egypt this is just making people aware so they can enjoy the good parts of Egypt there's a train coming I do have a video on my channel called scammed in Egypt and that kind of gives you an idea of what happened so if you want to see what actually happened I'll leave that link below and uh, you guys can check it out because it kind of shows the whole process and how we get fooled like a hundred times but luckily we kind of knew what was going on but we didn't really what the hell did you just say 
so the mix of that meant that we didn't actually lose any money we almost did but uh, it's a pretty funny I mean it is laughable but this stuff happens all the time and if you get ripped off big time it's just not cool but at the end of the day we always came out of it laughing and I, I can like I said I can understand the scammers but you know you don't want to be you know the butt of the joke Egyptians in general are super kind and super charismatic they're like some of the funniest kind of outgoing confident people that you'll meet you can walk down the street and just be like yo what's up hey and like people stoked to, to have a chat with you and things but there is that huge scam industry if you want that goes on in Egypt so when you get there just be careful I'm just gonna make this video short because I don't want to go on and on about it but I just want to say if someone comes up to you and it seems too good to be true then it probably is just say no thanks not interested and do not reply after that because if you reply then they realize that they can crack you so just give them a no thank you and then just walk off that's it cut it off there no more replying because they'll walk with you we had a guy walk with us for like two kilometers and my buddy Joe he has a really hard time of stopping talking to these guys and he'll answer their every question and you just can't do that you've got to be cutthroat because at the end of the day you got to think about your pocket and your experience and if you want a guy following you down the road two kilometers asking you to go to their store or even worse some kind of a lie that gets you to that stage where you're in a shop and you feel extremely uncomfortable and they're putting extreme extreme pressure in you. And uh, do you think, um, you know, when they... Once you get into the shop, it's really hard to get out without some really awkward kind of emotion, feeling guilty for no reason going on, so... Don't do that, guys. And there's another train coming. This is a very short train. So yeah, guys, go to Egypt, have fun, but uh, don't be scared to say no and mean it. No! No! Aaron being strange. No! There's plenty of business people who are honest in Egypt too. Just be careful. Go back through my videos, see what I'm talking about, uh, see the positives and the negatives, and have a great time. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Oh.